if you're a true fan, you would have noticed that I didn't post last Friday because last Friday was Christmas. They gon' feel this when I hit the club, I walk in with a small village and nothing's off limits. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's talk about Cole Bennett for a second. Founder of Lyrical Lemonade, probably the most influential music video director in 2020 in the past few years. His editing style and techniques are not like most. And today I just want to break down one of my favorite editing techniques that I've used the past few years on my sports edits. And this video is not teaching you to rip off other people's style. I think it's more of taking ideas from others and mixing them around and making them your own. This particular edit is pretty common. You can use it in many different ways. So I think it's perfect for that, for what I just said. Yeah, so I first saw this effect in the Lil Mosey Noticed music video on Lyrical Lemonade. It was actually the first time I saw the clone freeze frame idea before. And I was like, yep, that's all me. I gotta learn it. Figured it out. And here I am telling you about it. That's so fun. Cause I'm nice, uh. I got late, it's on 40 in my right car. So I'm just gonna head outside. I'm gonna film a little clip of me. All right, let's get this, let's get this thing going. I'm just gonna film myself for an example. It's like 20 degrees outside, the wind is blowing. Um, I'm cold, but I'm just gonna pretend I'm in my own music video. Okay, tell me what the deal is. You know I'm the illest. She from California, says she don't know where the bill is. Shout out to the hometown, I know that they gon' feel this. When I hit the club, I walk in with a small village and nothing's off limits. Follow me back in. We gotta go. It's so cold. It's my new mug. Thank you. Thank you, Santa. Also, I just wanted to say happy Friday. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So I'm in my project right now, and I'm just gonna use this clip right here. Yep. So I'm gonna try and make this as easy as possible, okay? It does involve a mask. And when I first started editing, masking was the most confusing thing to me. It would mess up my brain, but I'm gonna try to, try to explain it as simple as possible. A mask is essentially just a hole in your frame that reveals what's underneath it. So you need a clip on top of another clip. And a mask basically cuts a hole in one of the clips to reveal what's underneath it. So I'm gonna hit option, and I'm gonna duplicate the clip. And now this is what I want to be the freeze frame. So I'm gonna hit shift H, that's gonna hold that clip. And then I'm just gonna cut, I'm just gonna cut it for however long I want it. We'll get to that later. But right now, see as you can see, it's gonna play and then it just freezes right there. Meanwhile, the clip, if I disable it, the clip underneath it is still playing. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna get your draw mask tool and this is actually a very easy effect to do with a mask because it, it involves like no movement. Now for this one, you're gonna, uh, I'm gonna scale in a little bit just so I can see it better. Maybe like 150. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna go around my beautiful self and I'm just gonna cut around myself. I'm gonna do a super rough job. Normally I'd be doing a very detailed job, even more zoomed in. Oh God, this is so bad. This should take you a decent amount of time. It should not take you this quickly. You you want to get the best results. If I'm actually going to do something professionally with this video, I would take an extended period of time doing this. But for the sake of the video, I'm, I'm not going to take that long. Okay, so we made it around. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to zoom out some more. Just hit fit and then that'll just take it where it is. So as you can see, I just put a point all around my whole body. Hopefully it's starting to make more sense of like what a mask is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit a mark right here and right here. That's M on the keyboard. This is just a place marker. So you know where this lines up because let's say you're moving it around and now it's not lined up. If I were to freeze it, you know, it's just all off. If I play that back, this is what it's gonna give me. We want it the other way around. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag this over. So the ending of that to that marker right here. You kind of just got to watch what I'm doing. And so then what I did in mine was I wanted to have it move in. So what I did, I'm going to do something different. I keyframed the just the whole clip as itself because the whole top clip is just the silhouette of me because we masked it out. So I'm going to start it. So I'm going to keyframe it in talked about that in my last video. If you hit this button right here, 
and then I'm gonna have it I'm gonna have it come down start it there and then I'm gonna drag a little bit so now it's gonna float in and then I'm gonna step into it after I drag it down just like that so it should come in from the sky me meaning it <laughs> Get creative in that little sports edit thing. I think I made, I think I copied this clip. So I did the option. So now we have two masks. We have two of the same clip. And I think you get the uh, the glow. Yeah, you put the glow underneath the top one. Yes, yeah, so now it's kind of highlighted. And then I might add some bad TV. That's a fun effect to put underneath that one. So it should be like that. Just get creative. You, these are all inside Final Cut or whatever editing software you, you use. Yeah, and then I'll add some some color adjustments. I'm pretty sure I already color corrected it. So my last thing is I throw over a LUT. I'm gonna get to that in a future video, but I'll show you what it should look like at the end. Let's begin now. Thank you. That's how it's done. So learn it, love it, use it, get creative.